Greetings comrades, I am Admiral Andre and welcome back to Geopolitical Simulator 4. This is our fourth episode and if you remember from the last one, which was only yesterday if the upload is successful, uh, we took the city of Santiago de Cuba from the regime, but they are currently surrounding our brave and loyal patriots with uh, 46 level 2 tanks and 99 level 1 tanks. I, since the last episode, I figured out what the difference between these vehicles is. And it's simply the fact that this kind of uh, model is a level 1 tank and this kind of more traditional tank model is a level 2. So that's even more dangerous. So, uh, I think let us continue with the clock. There is not much else we can do at the moment and hope for the best. So, I am very interested to see what the regime will do today. I'm also a bit cautious now to fast forward because I don't know if the thing will actually stop if they start attacking us. And I don't want the government forces running around in the city without me being there to direct action. So that's the thing. Oh, 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 stop right there. So they just sent a bunch of helicopters to attack the city. And we lost something, I'm sure. 11,073. I think it was 11... Uh, six, seven something? Or, I don't know. I think we lost a couple of hundred people there, to be honest. But we also destroyed all of their helicopters, so that's a good thing. We're in absolute dire straits. Uh, battle uh, attack, putting together a refugee convoy, and the battle, and then it's international news again. Now, where are those refugees? We saw them going this way last time. Oh, there they are. Are they leaving on a ship? Probably going to the US. Maybe. I've never seen them actually get on a ship before. But there they go. Good grief. So how many people are left here? Uh, 277. Oh yes, this is another question that I had. Because when I see the population, I'm not sure if that means the population after the refugees left or if this was the usual population. But now we know last time it was half a million. So this is after the refugees left. I'm using Tropico 5 soundtrack today, just to mix things up a bit. So where are you lot going now? Hmm? Florida, I guess. So what do we do? We have to wait now for our tanks. I'm not sure if I want to buy helicopters, really. Maybe we should, actually. It could help us, possibly. Uh, rank 1, let's try. How much money do we have left? Now, is this true? 409 million. Operating budget. I think we've spent so much recently that it's more likely that it's the operating budget. But in any case, also, this is something I wanted to uh, share with you. I saw this when I edited the video last time. Because we are now controlling territory, we are actually getting an income every month now. So we don't even have to ask for money anymore. Most of our money is coming from extortion, ransoms, and trafficking. Uh, so yes, we're an illegal organization, so it's par for the course, I guess. And also territorial resources. I guess that means if there's any minerals in the area that we control or stuff like that. But it's just a city, but I guess it still counts. You know, the economic activity of the 200,000 people still remaining. So anyway, let us try getting a few helicopters. Oh, we can't get any. Nothing. I'm sure we could get it from the uh, black market last time, but there's level 2 helicopters. 18 million for each. No, I'm sorry. We can get two tanks for that money. No level 2 tanks. Well, we'll just have to wait. I'm going to put it in fast forward mode or high speed mode just so we see what happens have to watch this very carefully we're literally on a knife's edge here comrades and one of our loyal advisors actually said in the comments i think to the second video oh, just stop right there 
that we should do the rebellion the hard way, not just straight go for the capital and capture it. And, uh, well, we have the hard way now, comrades. So that's six troops, that won't be too much of a problem. And there they go. Just pause it immediately. Now what I want to try actually is... Uh, so it's literally just one stack of six. Can we fire our rockets from long range and kill them without getting damaged ourselves? Obviously this costs money because the rockets are not cheap, but better than losing our troops. There we go, Patriots. March forward bravely. Yes, we'll see what happens. Hmm. Okay, quickly before they get to you and they're dead. Okay, we didn't take any damage this time, so this is a viable option if there's small groups coming into the city. Of course, we certainly lost some rockets there. But we still have over 1,200, so it's fine. Rather that than losing people right now. So it looks like they're not really sending any tanks in. I think they can do that, but they're just not choosing to do that. Regime overthrow, that's more prestige, because each time we defeat them, we regain the city, and that gives us more popular support. Let's have a look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I see we are actually gaining sympathizers. Last time it was 4-6, now it's 4-7. So this is helping. Let's see what the government has. 7, I think, was it not more than that before? I'm not sure. Okay, there's 128 level 2 tanks coming. We're dead, comrades. How can we win against all of this? But I still have faith in our revolution. Are they going to send all of them straight into the city? Then we're going to have a hell of a fight on our hands. No, they just... Wait! Uh, okay, just pause. They're sending three in. Small groups, luckily. This should be from the other side of the city now. Yes. Okay, good thing is the army base is right here, so I'm going to send all of our uh, 4,600 Patriots and please fire your rocket launchers. Actually, no, this is too much. Stop. For only three tanks, we're not going to waste so many rockets. Just take a smaller group of 700. Is that 700 rockets being fired at once? That's the other thing. Still too much. We'll see, we had 1200 rockets, now what do we have? Okay, they're dead, we didn't get hit. And we have still 1200, so we lost only something like 10 rockets, so it's fine. They don't waste it. Right, another victory for the revolution, and they're splitting into lots of little groups again. Hmm, reorganizing. We know that they sort of shrink in size if they want to enter the city, so we'll know if they try that. They're just trying to intimidate us. You see, comrades, you see what I'm telling you. This bastardo is trying to uh, intimidate us, but it will fail, obviously. Well, hmm. Just wasting fuel. 104... Oh, it's different stacks still. 171 and 99. Oh, and there's one soul troop. I wonder if they'll send that poor bugger into the city to die. Yep. Well, now we see how much they care about the lives of the Cuban people. Well, everyone in the museum, please get your RPGs ready and aim it at that one single human being. Traitor. Try not to damage the civilian buildings. And he's dead. That's that. <laughs> Why would you send one sole person into the city? Well, well, it's fine. This is just going to become a problem long term because there's nothing we can do to get out. 
just saving. I set it to save every uh, quarter, otherwise it gets a bit too tedious. It takes quite a while to save. Right, just pause. I want to see if we can launch another uprising. No, we can't. Uh, that's it. We're trapped here now. All that we have is propose peace or surrender, and of course, we don't want to do either. We're going to need so many tanks and armored vehicles to attack these stacks that they're sending. Another 88 single star tanks. Oh, okay, well. How long can we last, comrades? It's strange that they're not moving there. Okay, stop. There's three coming in again. They could just keep sending hundreds of them in and wipe us out. But they don't do that. For some reason. Which is fine by me, by the way. Pause. Let's have a look. Okay, they're coming from the south. Everyone in the bank. Please aim your RPGs and test your RPG skills. Three level one tanks. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. You see how the hit points drop and they're dead. Great. Should be another 0.7% approval. Um, what now? What can we do to expedite this matter? I'm not quite sure. So they're going to keep doing this now. We can possibly try again if they are like all in one side of the city to smuggle somebody out. I doubt it will work because they have a, an area of range around them. 0 0.7 indeed. Trying to intimidate us, trying to break our will. It should just be battles again, battles. Complete success for the James Webb at least. Eh, now what? How do we get out of here? We can't even do a diversion by launching an attack on another city now. We have to go from here. And there's another 163 troops coming. How many do they have? This is where the 78,000 troops we saw before really start to uh, take their toll. They'll probably send one or two in again. How many Patriots do we have? Still fine, still have the mercenaries. I guess that helicopter attack also killed our mercenaries. They're sending a hundred in. Alright comrades, this is more substantial now. Pause. This is quite urgent. Right, so they're coming from the south again. There's one stack of 100. I guess 100 in one stack is like the maximum number. We have 1300 here. Now the thing is, I think we can use our rockets again because they're in one stack. Let's try it. Come on, quickly. That's it, they didn't even get the chance to throw a grenade. Okay, fantastic, as long as we can keep doing this. Uh, let's see, how many rockets do we have now? They keep buying them, of course, uh, given our target there. So it's actually fine, I don't have to micromanage that. And we should get money every month. More than we are spending, hopefully. Foreign country, spoils of war, network. I don't think we need to do that again now. Weaponry. Actually, what I should try and do maybe is to see if we can meet someone. Uh, maybe a network. Who is it that gives us weapons? I think it's actually diplomats. Maybe they'll be more inclined to do that now that they see we're actually rising up here. Let's try it. Uh, diplomats, the Liberian will try all of them. 
Puerto Rico. Oh, it's the other one. Belize. Right, good luck. Maybe they'll also support a UN resolution now. Now that they can see the atrocities of this government. Of this bunch of maniacs. They're just staring us down. Right, first meeting. Have a coffee. No thanks. My old All right. Champ uh, no, first I love your country. I hope you didn't make me Champagne. Will you please supply me with mercenaries? Wait, first will you... Okay, no, they don't have the UN option. Will you supply me with mercenaries? Ah, wait, let's see if we can bribe him. 50, it's not gonna go for it. Weapons? No, it's not gonna happen. If he does, he might send a few. Right, Liberia. Coffee. Everyone has ulcers. I love your country. Uh, champagne. Bribery? Still a 50. I could change it, but that's cheating, so I'm not going to do that. Will you submit a resolution? No, he won't. Will you fund us? Okay, might send more money. Will you supply us with weapons? No. Mercenaries? No. Alright, they're all reluctant to get involved. I guess they're not sure of our chances yet, but to be honest, neither am I. Next day, oh, and there is another stack of 133 tanks. How many tanks do these buggers have? Coffee. I love your country. Champagne. Are you susceptible to bribery? Again a 50. Maybe that's on purpose so that we can't bribe them. Will you give us a UN resolution? No. Will you help us with mercenaries? No. Weapons? No. They don't want to say no outright, but that's really what it means. But we should be getting a small amount of money soon. Okay, they're sending three level two tanks into the city. Prepare yourselves, my patriots. Right. Into the city. It pauses automatically. Everyone in the museum, brace yourselves. Okay, they're staying there. Seven thousand dollars. Eh, it's just a token. Maybe I can buy a new bottle of champagne with it. Right, Patriots, do your thing. Oh, they fired from long range. Not good. Right, we wiped them out, but we lost a few. Not good. Okay, how many now? They're sending more, perhaps? 10,900. Yes, this is starting to hurt. I think they're sending more. Or no. They're not sure what they want themselves. Hey. Mercenaries, how are we doing? Okay, I'm doubling that again. Let's double. No, we can't again. Just once. Let's get 46 mercenaries. How are we supposed to escape from this? This was a tactical blunder, I think. The problem really here is Santiago is so close to these military bases. We really only have the one option and that is to grab Havana right at the start. Just more battles in the newspaper, I guess. What are you doing? And another 60 level 1 tanks. These guys are really scared of us. At least we succeeded in that. They're sending three of them in again. Looks like they send just a few from each stack. Right, let's deal with it. Otherwise, our troops would just keep standing here and they'll start shelling us. Right, hit them. I think these level 1 tanks can't hit us so easily from a range. Yes, it's the level 2 ones we have to be scared of, so we didn't suffer any losses there. 
Santiago, mi amor, mi corazón. How do we escape here? Comrades, what is your advice? How can we deal with this situation? Other than surrendering, of course. I won't entertain ideas of such proportions. We still have 277,000 people in the city. Come on, people, what are you doing? Okay, six more troops coming in. What happened right there? Some of them died here. Let's just have a look. What's happening with our troops? Maybe they tried assaulting the city directly or something. Right, same old story. Rockets, fire, you know the drill. Right. Ancient history. At least they're suffering some losses. Hmm. If only we could escape. I'm gonna try again. This is probably not a wise idea. You see they're on both of our flanks. But let's try one of the mercenaries. At least, well, I don't think actually mercenary can build a camp. You don't see the option there. We need someone who can build a camp. So, one brave and loyal patriot. Try to escape the city, please. Should we try and go south or north? I guess north, but it won't really matter. It's a suicide mission. Dead instantly. If we're further away, the uh, government forces can't see us. They only have a certain range around them. This I also learned intimately with my Afghanistan experiment. So, if only we could escape, it would make it so much more difficult for them to find us, but... I guess we are trapped here. That shadow in the back is actually the jeep that we move our troops in. Eight more of them. If only we could now escape and drop an atom bomb right here, we could wipe out most of their military forces. Hey, I guess those eight soldiers are gonna try. Mm, or they'll just wait. No, they will. Pause. And they shell us again. Very interesting, every time someone enters the city, they attack us somehow. Again, intimidation attempts. I just love this uh, Tropical 5 music. Right, come on, come on. We could again try and do a direct assault, but against 209,000 plus 143,000, it's hopeless. Totally hopeless. We need those tanks first. And the armored trucks, the technicals. Then maybe we'll have a chance, at least for one of them to escape during the battle. Hey, well, we'll get a notification if there is another battle. There's the refugees. They're sailing to Haiti, it looks like. Uh, might want to rethink that. Or they're just parking in the middle of the ocean. Which is also not the wisest. Can we get anyone to protest this kind of abuse? No, we can't because... We are now an active insurgency, so we have fewer meeting options. We can't do all of those stealth options of inciting other people to rebel. Is there anything we can do? What about meeting someone we've never met before? I think maybe the Brazilian. Maybe she can help us. Let's meet tomorrow morning. 
don't know how we meet maybe just online or I don't know I'm sure they'll cut all of the communications in the city so I'm not sure how we're meeting uh, four troops they'll try again okay we have a meeting coffee sure. she likes it of course Brazilian uh, coffee champagne I love your country. She likes that. Will you fund us? Or oh, actually, first put us in touch with Argentinians. What? So she won't? This is the first time I've had someone refuse to put me in touch with somebody else. Can I bribe you? No. No, we disagree. I don't know what we disagree on, but anyway. Next battle. Same thing. Please use your rockets. Patria o muerte. Or something. I don't really know Spanish. <laughs> now what? Let's see. Anything in the newspaper? Just more battle reports. We have to really start thinking here. I'm going to try fast forwarding to the next event. Let's see what happens. I'm sure they'll stop the clock there. All right, pause. So the next batch has moved into the city. And it is four soldiers uh, bravely trying to kill uh, 11,000 mercenaries and uh, armed revolutionaries. So I'm not sure. Well, they got a rocket off there is more than I can say for many of the others who have tried. One more. They'll just keep throwing them piecemeal. What are we going to do? Just wait. Wait for those tanks. I'm not sure when they'll arrive anymore. I just know it was many months. Next event... pause instantly somebody died again on the outside there doesn't really change our numbers they sent one soul guy into the city again are you mad for what he's gonna be at the receiving end of RPG fire uh, he also I don't know if that was actually just a rocket and smoke exhaust from the RPGs there but maybe he got a grenade off I'm gonna put it on slow and then fast forward to the next event because it will drop out and return to slow speed at least that will give us time to react the helicopter's attacking us again, and something else They're inside the city again, and a hundred of them. Okay, at least they're trying something a bit more now. Everyone fire your rockets! We'll meet in the town hall square, or nearby anyway. A hundred traitors! Come on, fire, what are you waiting for? Don't get so close to them. Heavy damage. Uh, well, I guess their uh, enthusiasm makes up for that. How many people do we have in the city now? No more uh, mercenaries, but we did lose a couple of hundred people there. Not good, you have to fire your RPGs from much further away. Uh put the order in for the next batch of mercenaries and maybe it's now July I'm not sure if we should try putting a recruitment campaign again maybe we should wait just have to get closer to those shipments there's another uh, few helicopters attacking us 
And another battle. All right, what's our numbers at the moment? Ooh, we lost a lot. I think in those helicopter attacks, those are deadly. Comrades, we're definitely running out of time here. Now they've sent 11. That's nothing, but it's the helicopter attacks. <sighs> so we've lost like 2,000 people already. I don't know, could we have done this another way? Really, again, if we don't want to do it the instant way, we had to withdraw from Havana and possibly try here, but I don't think we could have gotten any troops out of the city because of the base right next door. So the moment we do that, they would have attacked us anyway. So that's the thing, and I don't think while we're busy attacking Havana, and Santiago, we can launch an attack on another city because, like you saw, we can't reallocate troops from the Havana battle. So, in the case of Cuba, it might just be better to attack the capital and just get it over with. Unemployment risen to a whole 1%. I guess all of them are in the army. And I'm sure they'll move soon. They're just leaving these hundreds of tanks outside to block us. Hey, I think if we can get those tanks and technicals in a relatively short time, we'll just go out in a blaze of glory. One big battle where we pull everyone out of the city and attack. We'll definitely die, but better than slowly being whittled away. Come on. Right, same thing. Rocket attack. Okay, he's dead. Fifty three per cent popularity. Okay, slow speed next event. It's the only way we can get through the game relatively quickly. Forget the newspaper, it's not relevant in our present situation. Okay, another attack. Just stop right there. Don't think that changed the numbers. Again, another two. Uh, rockets. Right, no, that's definitely just the smoke and exhaust from the RPGs. They didn't actually attack us there. Another victory and slow speed and next event. Come on, come on, where's my uh, equipment? Okay, next attack, just stop there. Again, someone on the outside was also killed. How many do they have? Probably one again. Yep, it's not even necessary to keep coming in here. Just let them handle it. Slow speed to the next event. Why is that battle not sorted yet? Okay, I'll have a look at that message. Oh, okay, well, not good, not good. Somehow they bypassed a lot of us here, I guess, during the fast forward. Three tanks there, level two. Oh, okay, we killed a few of them already. Without my management. Same thing, quick, 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 quick. What are you doing? They're all dead, all right. They were just celebrating, I guess. Rocket attack, how many are left? Six inside the bank. And 
the rocket attack the next one they won't do that by default that's why I have to direct them every time is there anyone left there? yes and they're doing nothing about it get them please for goodness sake anyone else I think that's it but we suffered some serious losses no it's not the only they're attacking from all sides okay 3-3 three, three. so they keep it generally small groups but definitely fast forwarding while the battle was happening was not a good idea and I guess everyone in the police station get that one <laughs> Might as well enjoy the music while we're being massacred here. Come on, that one as well. Don't just look at it. I should just queue up the multi-order move again. And a whole other batch as well. Right, you lot pull back here. Yes, this is it, comrades. I think we're in the major attack now. Again, they just keep sending small groups, but at least they're doing more of them now. You lot pull back to the bank. You lot stay where you are and attack that one and then that one. You lot are going back. And then regroup and then all of you will attack. You see, they're still firing... Just wait till they're together. Now. That one. Looks like these two are coming down. Instead, change your attack fire at this one. You have to micromanage this kind of thing to a very large extent. Next. And they're coming back here. Okay, that one's going too fast for us. Come back. Any other? Oh, <laughs> well, it's the fun times now in Cuba. Right, this one, then this one. And then let's see what happens. This is now Muerte, comrades. Libertad or Libertad or Muerte. Don't just fall down on the ground, just try. Return fire. Machine guns are not going to do much against the tank. Right, keep pausing it. You can just pause with a space bar, it might be easier. No, we're dead, comrades. They shelled the uh, military headquarters and they killed everyone inside in one hit. It's all over. It's over, comrades. So we must not congregate inside the buildings. Oh well. <laughs> I predicted our death in three episodes. We made it to four, so I guess I can be proud of that. But let's not uh, celebrate our death so soon. Let's try and resist as long as possible. I think they'll keep sending forces into the city now. Right. Libertad. Luchador. <laughs> Fuego. Another batch wiped out. I wonder if they can die inside the square as well. I'm not sure if they bombard the square. Probably. Ay, 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 ay. They're sending everyone to the bank now. Just five stacks left. They're definitely dead. Get 
Get him. Get Rieros. Alright, so they have the east of the city under their control now. Everyone to the main square, which is actually a circle. You lot stay there, or actually go to the police headquarters. They might try and come down this road here. Yes, they are. And they're sending more uh, from the north. Luchador Agrario! Fuego! Dead. Muerte. <laughs> Fuego! I guess it's time to make my escape to Puerto Rico to visit that other person's summer residence. Another one tank, they're dead. Actually, maybe we can repel this wave. This one, then this one, then this one. Okay, they're all going to the main square. They're gonna be flanked as well. Everyone, get to the main square. That's where we make our final stand. Exciting times, comrades. Well, trying to think more of the lyrics from that song. What is it called? Uh, Guerrero, uh, Canción de, de Guerrero, something like that from Guatemala. It's actually a very uh, reflective song of the uh, sort of revolution in Guatemala. It's a whole other story, but that's where I know some of the words, like luchador, agrario, derrapa, napalm. Uh, what's the other thing? I have to think. Um, Reyes, is Judith Reyes is the lady singing the song. You can find it on YouTube. Anyway, keep fighting. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Just have to actually... No, 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 no. Didn't mean to click on flee. There's nowhere we can flee. Just we need to click on the right stack there. Can't actually do it. I'm getting a very strong sense of deja vu now for some reason. Maybe they're dead. Yes, they are anyway. Alright, you lot take this side pause immediately and you lot take the other side uh, we're killing ourselves with rocket fire at least we go out in a blaze of glory comrades okay anyone else in the west no but we still have two more stacks one soldier and three more tanks okay try your rockets again no sense in letting this one get a grenade off right now everyone focus your fire on that one stack then we should still control the city but in a much weaker state And they're gone. I wish we could capture those tanks. But anyway, the city is back under our control, but at great cost. So right now we have only 2,100 brave souls left, and they're bringing 66 more tanks from uh, the north, and another 178 troops. Okay, that seems to be it. But still, this is nuts. They still have 295 level 2 tanks outside and another 234 tanks level 1 on the other side. I guess... Let's see if we just get killed. No need to make another episode if we die quickly in the next one. Alright, we'll just have to use our time machine and go back in time. Or play a different country or different scenario. 
then I have 300 and there's the troops and another one tank mercenaries will you join us please Okay, one tank is entering the city, probably from the northwest. Yes, and now of course we have far fewer troops. Better watch out that they don't kill us in the buildings again. We lost a lot of men and women, of course. We have lots of patriots here uh, that were killed in the attack on the military HQ. Okay, it's done. Luckily they only sent a small number again. Go on you bastardos! And from all of that fighting we only have a little bit more popularity. Any more people joining us? Yes, another hundred thousand. 6.8 so they are dropping in numbers definitely they were 7 million I think just now come on you lot from the south one whole tank Over, right, leave the city. Here's another batch of 89 soldiers coming in. Or not, I guess they decided to leave there. <sighs> well, I did say this game is very unpredictable. Let's just see, we have one unread message, it's just another battle report. His popularity definitely fell now. Care of the refugees, sporting victory, doping, doesn't surprise me. The refugees are just out in the ocean dying, you can see their numbers dropping. So that's why you need to build a refugee camp as quickly as possible. Another battle is happening and it's again another token force of one tank. But somehow they got further into the city this time. Never mind, stop, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. You're wasting your time chasing it. Okay, it's trying to shell the building again. Right, we got them out. And attack. Not so close. They like walk right up to it. It's because of this multi-order move mode again. They move there and then they fire. Come on, anything else? Or should we just end this episode now? I think I'll end it on a cliffhanger, comrades. We're almost wiped out. So let me know what you think. If there's a way to save the rebellion, we'll try to do it in the next episode. If not, then we'll just die in a blaze of glory. Right, that's it. If you also have any further suggestions for other kind of scenarios to play in this game or other uh, things we could try, then I would certainly be very open to your suggestions. But anyway, see you next time, comrades. Have a fantastic day and a happy week ahead. Actually, comrades, I was just thinking, why end the episode here? Uh, it's There's no point. I don't think there's much we can do, so let's go out in a blaze of glory. Let's just end it right here. We can't fight against hundreds of tanks here anyway, even with our shipment of tanks and technicals in the future. So let's just get it over with. Let's just get it over with. So everyone, you are going to fight now and die. Actually, let's try and flee. But let's not tell anyone. Try and build a camp in the north. And the last mercenary. You can attack that stack of tanks. And it's all over. We took some of them. 
and what do we have left? Anything? Nothing? Usually by this point they'll say you should quit. There's no reason to keep fighting anymore. Seems everyone is dead. Yes, we have nothing. We have no fighters, nothing anymore. Right, that's it comrades. We were uh, wiped out. Actually, I'll just see if we can forward until I get the message that I'm executed. If we get it there. End of the conflict, end of Javier Chiles. Uh, remaining resistant fighters have re uh, surrendered. The soldiers have found the disfigured body, oh no, of Javier Chiles in the rubble. At least I died fighting. Recognizable by the famous suede boots that he was still wearing and officially identified after DNA analysis. Well, comrades, Castro won out in the end. But we gave it a good, a good show. So anyway, if you want to see a different kind of scenario, uh, let me know. But in any case, we'll definitely try something else again. So uh, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed, despite the fact that we lost. See you next time, comrades.